so much for training for a flat fast road marathon uh, Dan here is making me climb a big hill at the start my fault sorry <laughs> week five of the Paris marathon training series and this week we get back up to 100k from last week's sick week and there's a bit of a 10k surprise at the end <laughs> let's see what happens So as you know, if you watched the last episode of the Paris Marathon training series, Monday of week five started with me being poorly sick. I was feeling very sorry for myself with man flu. I was supposed to go and do a track session. I didn't do it. I finally did get round to doing some running you know we did about 58 kilometers on the treadmill all in and 42k outside so a little bit of a sway towards the treadmill not to worry that's okay Tuesday I just got back into it really slowly so we did the film my run 500 12% on the treadmill and uh, climbed 500 meters that's only 4.2k and then in the evening back on the treadmill um, we did about eight kilometers uh, just easy Zwift run. So 12, 13 kilometers, very easy running on Tuesday. So we get to Wednesday and I'm starting to feel a little bit better. And I filmed uh, this series episode from last week during a 10K run on the seafront in the morning on Wednesday and then the big session was in the evening so it was the Paris Marathon training sessions on Zwift and we did an interval session a ladder session where we started off running fast for one minute then we got a bit slower for a minute and a half a little bit slower again for two minutes and a little bit slower again for two and a half minutes and then we did all that in reverse I think the fastest I got to was 20 kph at the end so I went for it and heart rate was good so all good on Wednesday I tell you what training for a flat fast road marathon I've been coming up on the hills less I'm really glad Dan got me to do this because it's absolutely beautiful up here today So I'm trying to get 100k in this week back up from last week's miserable efforts so Tuesday was a double run Wednesday was a double run and Thursday was a double run as well split over 14 kilometers my usual film my run 500 climbing run in the morning so about four and a half ish k and then we did about nine and a half k on Zwift again in the evening nice easy day nothing nothing particularly hard low heart rate just getting the miles in a little bit of climbing and that was Thursday are you ready to pack it in yet I'm all right for a bit okay <laughs> damn it it's always running with you you just make it go so quick <laughs> smooth talker isn't it <laughs> smooth talker <laughs> so if you're finding the video in any way helpful if it's helping your training if it's giving you some idea of how you might train for a marathon then do click that like button it really helps us out and if you're not subscribed go on you know what to do click the subscribe button much appreciated thank you very much right if you are a premium subscriber on YouTube then you're all good but if you're not might be time for an advert Friday was a really tough day especially seeing as I wasn't still wasn't hundred percent well went out for a long run with Mrs C Victoria on Friday morning we did 10 miles along the seafront we called it the lurgy run because Victoria was starting to feel ill as well so we were both a bit crook and then in the evening for some reason I was running on Zwift we did 12k and for the last 5k I decided to put in a marathon pace effort and I my wife said I looked like death at the end <laughs> so that was well what's 12 and 16 28k on Friday gosh 
Dan, what are you doing here? Well, I'm doing the South Downs Way 50 in April, and uh, you have generously agreed to show me the first little bit of the route, which is nice of you. Uh, and if you're interested in that sort of stuff, there will be a video on Run Man Dan uh, of me probably dying <laughs> on that race. <laughs> Go and subscribe to Dan's Run channel, Run Man Dan. So continuing our double days. Gosh, this is a tiring week. <laughs> Saturday, we uh, carried on with the park runs. So you know we're doing this park run series as I approach 200 park runs. We did um, East Brighton park run. If you want to see the video for the East Brighton park run, then click just up there, or is it? Is it just up there? I'll point both. I'll point both sides, and then you can you can click wherever you like. So we did uh, East Brighton Park Run, Victoria and I, nice and easy. Uh, we didn't race it at all because we also had a long run in the evening on Zwift. So we're doing these long runs on a Saturday night for Paris Marathon training for the Zwift gang. And we did an hour and 20 minutes on the treadmill. So uh, we did about 12 or 13 kilometers on Saturday evening. So another double day on Saturday. So Sunday. I did the cheekiest of 10k and well I was absolutely stoked to get a sub 40 for the first time in years and of course we count that as one of our hard efforts for the week so what with Wednesday's interval session and a little bit of a kind of marathon pace hard effort on Friday I would say we've probably got three hard efforts in the bag and it got me up to 100 kilometers per week by Sunday morning so that was nice so of that 100k 29 and a half, 30k of that I would regard as uh, hard running, hard effort. So that's about, out of 100, that's about 29, 30%, isn't it? <laughs> so a little bit more than the 80 20 rule, but that's what we're doing. We're adding a few more harder efforts, a little bit more fast running into our weekly regime. Look how much mud I've got on my shoes. It's ridiculous. So last week I did 11 uh, runs, 11 activities. Three of those were really hard efforts and that works out at around 27%. So if you are new to this series, uh, you may be wondering what I mean by a hard effort. So hard efforts are any runs that you do where your heart rate gets for any significant length of time into zones four or five. So I run with a heart rate strap generally for my training and I look at my heart rate results afterwards and I see how much time I've spent in each of the heart rate zones, the five heart rate zones. So any efforts in four and five, I count as hard effort. Uh, so that's increasing your VO2 max, it's increasing your blood oxygen level and uh, making you able to run for longer, faster. So for week five, 11% of my running, or 12, 11 to 12% was in zones four and five. We did 10 hours of activity, 10 hours of running, and about an hour and 10 or 11 minutes of that was in zones four and five. So around about 11 to 12% of last week's Paris marathon training was hard efforts in zones four and five. So there we go, that was the week. If you're new to the series and you haven't seen the others, then uh, click that link right there and that'll take you to the playlist for all the other Paris marathon training series videos. Thanks very much for watching. You know what to do if you're not subscribed, please go and click that subscribe button, whack the like button, and I will see you on the start line next time. Take care everyone, bye bye.